morning breakout. Let me get myself set up here just a moment. I think that'll work. A wonderful Friday. All right. I think that's good. Welcome to yoga. Your little yoga flow. Um, got about an hour here. Let me get my time already so I know. I hope everyone is having a great week. <sighs> if it is anyone's first time joining yoga this morning, always feel free to modify. Uh, take breaks when you need. Um, it is vinyasa based. And happy birthday for yoga. It's my sister's birthday. Oh my gosh. Well, happy birthday. Veronica, happy birthday, Veronica. <laughs> awesome. I hope you're having a great birthday. Is she taking yoga, Hector? Hmm. Maybe not. Um, well, anyway, happy birthday. That's awesome. If you both are joining, welcome. Um, again, it's a vinyasa flow, so if it is a, your first time joining, welcome. Oh, thank you so much, Hector. So happy you're here. Um, if it is your first time joining, um, always know that you can modify, you can uh, take a moment and chill, pause at any point. We're going through an hour. So again, it's a lot going on within that amount of time. Um, I don't have a bunch of props with me because I kind of assume that most of us might not have a lot of props, but again, options to go seated into a chair to do some things or just chill for a moment. Most importantly, I always try to remind people, breathe. Breathe first and foremost. Um, one, because a lot going on and uh, sometimes it's cool just to check out, clear your mind with all these breakout classes. Um, and just a moment to kind of like zone in on you, do what you gotta do for you, um, center yourself to kind of get yourself back into life. And second, because it's a little hot, especially if you're participate in Arizona, so just a moment to kind of chill, ground yourself, um, and just get some little release as much as possible. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started now. So, when you're ready, we're gonna move into a child's pose. Now, this is a great pose at any point in your practice, should you wanna take a break or just a moment to hang out and breathe in, this would be the pose to do it in. And toes together, reaching the arms out, if the knees are a little tight, you can always put a towel or something behind the back of the knees or even propping yourself up a little bit. Again, always remember going to a chair, bring yourself to seated position works as well too. So as you settle down, you're going to extend your arms forward. You're going to let your head drop all the way down towards the mat, sending your hips back right over your heels. Now you're going to stay in this pose. I'm going to come out of it because I'm going to talk towards the camera, but just allowing your head to drop your hips to sink back, making your way into a child's pose. From here, I want you to just take a moment, just observe how your body's feeling, what's going on with your body, maybe what's going on with your thoughts. A great time, again, to just be aware of what's floating through your mind, whatever it might be, whether it's thinking about your Friday, your weekend plans, it's ha it happens, we're human. But see if for this time, when those thoughts pop in, can you shift those thoughts and bring it back to your breath? So as you settle in your child's pose, and again, I'm upright just so I can talk towards the camera, but as you're settled in your pose, I want you to feel your breath. Now, every inhale, take that breath into your back, into your side ribs, into your chest, into your belly. Starting to become expansive, just starting along the torso from that child's pose. And start to notice, we like to grip into our fingers, we like to grip into our neck, into our shoulders. Can you just soften just a little bit more here? As we take a couple more rounds of breath, gently deepening our breath. Ah. 
as the hips settle back, taking about two more here. One more nice steady round of breath. And on your next inhale, gently take your time and feel free to even keep your eyes closed here. You're gonna walk your hands up and then go ahead and take your hands, walk them over towards the right side of your mat. And just get a little bit more length through your left rib, really pressing your left palm down, gently dropping your head down towards the mat as you reach towards the side. Two more rounds here. Now see if you can get just a little bit more breath into your left rib as you extend and breathe, lengthen. Your next inhale, take your time, bring it back to center. And go ahead and take it all the way to the other side, reaching that right hand out, softening your shoulder down, let your head release towards the mat. One more round of breath here. And then go ahead and gently take your time, walk your hands all the way back to center. Pausing here, get a nice big reach, arms out. And then let's take, just take one nice deep inhale here together. Out your mouth, let it go. And taking your time, go ahead and slowly bring yourself all the way up onto all fours. Now, because we were on those knees for a while, if they get a little tight, feel free to extend, reaching one heel back and switching, sending the other heel back. Just a nice little length along the back of those legs. Now, I want you to keep your knees a little bit wider and a little bit farther back. Not a full plank on all fours, but I want you to keep the stance a little bit wider. So that way you can inhale and feel free. Tuck your toes. Inhale, shift forward. As you exhale, shift your body over towards the right. Send your hips back down and then up towards the left. Now, no right or wrong way to move into these little circles. So again, do what feels right for you, but see if you can connect it with your breath as you move all the way down, back and up to the side, taking one more round in this direction. And then go ahead and switch, take it back the other way. Bring yourself back up and reach. Go ahead and take about two more rounds here. Again, no right or wrong pause when you need hold, when you need and then bring yourself all the way back to center. Now this time, we're gonna set right into our plank on all four, or excuse me, with the knees down. So we're going right into it, right into that heat this morning. So with the knees on the mat, the collarbone's broad, shoulders nice and soft, elbows gently hugging back, keep reaching that heart forward. Now what I want you to feel here is that nice support through your core. Now remember, we're gonna do a lot of planks because we're flowing through a vinyasa class. So if you're not sure what vinyasa is, I will show you in just a moment. We'll work our way through it. But remember, at any time, if plank feels better with knees on the mat, bring your knees down to the mat. Now double check that your elbows aren't locked out. A soft bend through the elbows just to really help so that we get out of the elbow joint that we're actually using the muscles to stabilize and to hold here. Now your toes are tucked behind you. Your heart is pulling forward. Take an inhale. Now strong through your core. As you exhale, shift your hips back to an active child's pose. And then as you inhale, make your way forward again. Shoulders come right over wrist. Now tailbone is reaching down. Now don't let your hips sink down here. Really use your core to keep that nice support through the center. Take another inhale. And then as you exhale, pressing yourself back. And two more. Inhale forward. Find your plank on your knees. Exhale back. And one more. Inhale forward. Now pause here. We're setting up this vinyasa. So knees are on the mat. I want you to hug your elbows in. So not a wide elbow push up, but think of gently hugging your elbows in towards your ribs as you lower yourself onto your belly. Nice and controlled. <laughs> Let me slide back so I'm back in camera frame. Now go ahead and take your hands just right next to your ribs, elbows hugging in. As you inhale, gently lift your heart. Now go ahead and put a little bit more weight here into your hands, but double check, no lifted shoulders. Draw the shoulders down, lift your belly up. So that difference here as we release, rather than just thinking of pushing your belly into the mat and really arching your back, I want you to think of reaching forward to reach up. So gently pressing your palms down as you inhale, lengthen up, 
And then from here, without pressing that belly down, my arms are engaged, but I want to engage my core too, to really help get it into that upper chest. Now feel free to stay low, down here. Exhale, lower. So I'll do one more nice and low. Inhale, again, this is another great height too. Shoulders nice and soft, tailbone is reaching back towards your heels. Take one more inhale. Exhale, gently release and dropping your head down towards the mat. Now I want you to push back onto your knees, tuck your toes, and take a moment, shift back into that child's pose. Now we're building up our vinyasa. I'm starting the vinyasa a little bit earlier this morning because I want to get into a little bit deeper twist today. So I just want to heat us up here, getting that core to start to set nice and warm as you inhale, take your time. Reset, now remember your plank, we're still on the knees. You're more than welcome to keep knees up though. If you're ready to heat it up even more, yogi's choice. Broaden through your collarbones, take a nice inhale. Now remember, hug the elbows in as you exhale, gently lower. Inhale, lift your heart, nice gentle broadening, shoulders soft away from your ears. Push back onto your knees, press back onto the heels. One more round, just like that. Inhale, brings you forward. Gently hugging your elbows in, exhale, lower. Inhale, send your heart forward, shoulders soft away from your ears. Now this time, press back on your knees, tuck your toes. Let's take it all the way to our first downward dog. When you get here, feel free to pedal out your feet. Bend one knee, bend the other. Just a little walking here. A little side to side, maybe gentle nod, yes. Maybe gentle shake, no. Now I want you to go ahead and take your feet just a little bit wider than the hips, preferably about the width of your mat. Now, if you're not using a mat, again, just a little wider than hip distance. Pressing your heart back, draw your belly in, lift your shoulder blades up away from your ears. Now, if your heels are not touching the floor, that is totally fine, but charge up the thighs, reaching those inner thighs back. Now take your left hand. Can you start to reach that left hand underneath your right and we're reaching for our right leg. So either your thigh, your calf, your ankle, and just a gentle pull underneath that right underarm. Now soft bend through your right elbow. Don't let that right elbow lock out. Take one more breath. And then as you exhale, go ahead and gently release, bringing your hand down, pause, inner thighs reaching back, shoulders soft, and go ahead and switch sides. Take your right hand and gently reach and rotate. Again, grab where you can, either onto your thigh, onto your calf, onto your ankle, and just a little rotation up. Taking one more round of breath here. And then go ahead and gently bring your hand all the way back to the mat. Now pause. Bring your feet about hips width now. Toes a little bit closer together. Inhale, shift forward into your plank pose. Now broaden. Now remember, here's our full plank where our knees are lifted. If this is ever too much, you modify. Bring your knees down to the mat. Keep the heart reaching forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, hips up and back. Two more. Inhale forward. And hips up and back. One more, bring it forward and pause in here. Keep the broadening through the collarbones, keep that lift and length through the heart. As you exhale, hugging your elbows in, gently lower onto the belly. Setting up for vinyasa, inhale. Lifting that heart, shoulders soft away from the ears, belly towards the spine, now tuck your toes. Can you go straight back to a downward facing dog? Really starting to connect your breath. Whenever you're in down dog, feel free to take a pedal, just a little release, a little reset. Down dog hopefully gets a little bit easier as we move through our practice, as we start to heat things up. Let's take one more vinyasa here. Inhale, shifts forward into plank. Knees up or down, exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen, feel free to keep it with cobra shoulders, soft, maybe a little bit higher. Tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now check, check your neck, soften through your jaw, connecting with your breath. And as you inhale, bring yourself up onto your toes. Exhale, I want you to bend your knees. And then from here, going lightly, take this first one. Let's go ahead and step it up towards the top of the mat. Now again, feet about hips width, a gentle fold here. As you let the head release down, a gentle nod, yes. A gentle shake, no. Now, you want your hands on something. So whether it's the mat, whether it's your shins, if you have blocks, great. Just make sure they're not just kind of like hanging out here. Again, use those hands to help support you, wherever that might be. Now, I want you to bend your knees, bring your left hand to the center of the mat, start to straighten your right leg as much as it will straighten. You turn it straight on. So as much as that right leg will straighten, and then from here, I want you to take your right arm up to the sky. A nice little twist. Broaden, open. Now you'll start to feel that right hamstring, the back of the right leg start to get a little bit more length, but soften your ribs in as you open, stack that right shoulder. One more breath. 
Exhale, gently release. Now bend both knees. Switch sides. Right hand down to the mat. Gently lengthen that left leg. Nice and straight. And then from there, as I press my right hand down. Now remember, if this is too low, use a chair. Use something to elevate yourself a little bit more so you can twist with more comfort and better alignment. Overall is what we're going for. Take one more breath. And then as you exhale, go ahead and gently release. Now from here, take your hands. Feel free to bring them onto your shins. Inhale, lengthen halfway, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, fold. Two more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale, lengthen. Shoulders away from your ears, exhale, fold. Now soft bend in your knees with a long spine. Come all the way up to stand. Reaching those arms all the way up and overhead. Woo. And hands to heart. Now keeping that belly lifted, let's go ahead and bring those toes together. Big toes touch. Shoulders stay soft. As you inhale, float your arms up. As you exhale, gently dive. Now soft bend through your knees. Feel free to bend those knees to bring your hands down. Inhale, send your heart forward. Step your left foot straight back. Step your left knee all the way down to the mat. Lifting those hip bones as you inhale, float your arms up. Find the lift in length. Now as we press the hips down, lift your belly up. The more you can lift through the front of the body, the deeper we sink those hips down, the deeper this stretch gets here through that left hip. Taking one more breath. As you exhale, gently open your arms and rotate towards the right side of the room. Now using that core, keep reaching out your right arm. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, gently bring your left hand all the way down to the mat. And then press down, keep moving a little bit deeper into your twist. Stack your right shoulder over your left. Maybe you even tuck your back toes, lift that back knee up if that's available for you. Keep the broadening through the chest, through the collarbones. Take one more inhale. Exhale, gently release. Now if you lowered your back knee to the mat, go ahead and bring it up here. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, little length. And again, inhale forward. Exhale, length. One more. Exhale. And then from here, go ahead and bend your front knee. Step your left foot all the way up to the top. Big toes touch. Let's take a halfway lift. So inhale. Lengthen. We're going to switch sides. As you exhale, step your right foot back. Second side. Now right knee all the way down to the mat as you inhale. Go and sweep your arms up. Now you're more than welcome to use your thigh to help you press. As you soften your shoulders, wrapping your triceps forward, draw your belly up from here. Take an inhale, exhale, extend, and rotate towards the left side of the room. Now try to really reach out that left arm. When we twist like this, naturally our body wants to reach forward, but we're trying to fight that gravity, fight that pull, and keep reaching back, really using the core here. Why not? It's Friday. Working through that core. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, bring your right hand down to the mat. Send your left arm up. Now, you can stay here, back knee can stay on the mat, or tuck the back toes. Lift that back knee and keep taking that rotation as you open up towards the left side. Hugging your left hip back, breathe. One more round of breath here. As you exhale, gently release. Inhale, lift your back knee if it's on the mat. Lengthen your heart forward as you exhale. Lengthen your front leg, maybe a little flex in your foot. And then go ahead and take the bend. And two more. Exhale, bend. And one more. Exhale, bend. Pause in here. Go ahead and bend your back knee. A soft bend. Step it all the way to the top. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead. Go ahead and stand tall. And hands all the way to your heart. All right, let's go ahead and add on here. Big toes are together. Shoulders soft. Exhale, bend your knees. Chair pose. Send your hips back. Draw your belly in. Soften through your shoulders. Now from here, go ahead and take just the arms. Reach them up and overhead. Draw the shoulders soft away from the ears. Wrapping triceps forward. Draw those lower ribs in and then keep sending your hips back. Weight into the heels. Taking one more. Inhale. Exhale, gently release. Inhale, reach your heart forward halfway. Feel free to press on your shins. Spine is long. And then go ahead and step your left foot all the way back. Soft bend through your left knee. As you inhale, take your arms all the way up and overhead. Now adjust. Find your balance. Front knees right over your front ankle. Belly's lifted up. And for crescent, the heels lifted, you can bend the back knee. Soft bend here. Two more rounds of breath. 
One more. Now we're going to go right into that twist again. Bring your hands to your heart. Press your palms together. Take your left elbow. Bring it all the way across your right thigh. Now remember, if this is too much, drop your back knee. Adjust. Now I'm collapsed into my left shoulder so I could turn and talk to the camera, but from here, you want to lift up as much as you can. So that difference of when I'm just kind of collapsed in a pose versus supported and lifted. Now, do the same thing with that back knee lifted and rotate even more. And that back leg, your left leg charged up like crazy. Taking one more inhale here. And then as you exhale gently, release your hands, look forward. Bend your back knee, step into the top, and go ahead and switch sides, right foot back. Now, left knee over left ankle. Come onto your fingertips, pull the heart forward, shoulders soft. Inhale, crescent pose. Float the arms up, shoulders soft, triceps forward, lift through your belly, tailbone reaching down. Now just double check the neck, the jaw, no unnecessary tension, just drawing it down. Now, hands to heart, broaden. Keep that nice lift as you exhale. Take your arm all the way across, gently pressing your arm into your thigh. As you rotate here, taking your twist, stacking the elbows, stacking the shoulders. Now remember, if you need that back knee to the mat, drop it down. Otherwise, keeping that lift, keeping that rotation, taking one more inhale here. Now let's get back to those vinyasas as you exhale. Bring your hands down to the mat. Pause. Step back into plank. Yogi's choice, knees up or down. As you exhale, gently lower onto your belly. Now Yogi's choice. Maybe you're ready to go a little bit deeper here. Top of your feet, pressing down to the mat. Lift your knees, engage your quads. You can press into the hands and lift all the way up so that the hips are up off the mat for an upward facing dog. And don't collapse. Not this. Lift with the heart. And then as you exhale, rolling over those toes, shift it back. Again, if any of that is too much, modify it, adjust it, make it work for you. Take a deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, coming onto your toes, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Now, yogi's choice, a step. Maybe this time you do a little hop to the top of the mat. Woo. Big toes touch. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, full. Arms overhead, stand tall. And hands to heart. Nice work, yogis. I'm going to turn and face straight onto the camera because we're going to twist again. Now, big toes are touching. Heels, a slight separation through the heels. Shoulders soft. As you exhale, draw the belly in. Send your hips back. Now, keep reaching out the crown of the head. Keep reaching out through the heart as those ribs soften in. Elbows nice and wide. Keep your knees square, even. Take your left tricep. Bring it all the way across your thigh. Now, even here, I started to pull my right hip back. Keep those hips square. As you press down, take your rotation. Opening up that heart towards the right side. Again, a lot of twists to start this morning. So keep using that core, that center to help find that rotation. Now we're taking this right into a balance here, our first big balance. As you inhale, make your way back to center, pause. Hold for an exhale. Now as you lift, I want you to bring your right knee up with you to your chest. Woo! Check that balance, nice. Now keeping that lift through the center, pausing here. Go ahead and adjust hands to hips. Why hands to hips? Because I don't want you to pull your right hip back. It's just your right knee. Just this thigh bone that starts to move. And then grab your foot. Now your foot, a few options. To the thigh, to the shin, to the floor. So wherever you can balance, as you squeeze your left bum in, draw your hip bones up. Engage, pressing strongly into that left foot, setting up for your tree pose. Shoulders are soft, center is lifted. Maybe arms up to the sky. Maybe. Again, I want you to go where it works for you. It's not about making these posts be perfect. In fact, if anything, like I said, I encourage, if you need a moment to just stand and breathe or go to a child's pose or sit. Checking that breath, taking one more inhale. No tension through the shoulders, soften them down. Inhale, bring your right knee forward, pause. Big toes together, hands to heart. As you exhale, shifting hips back. Keep that lift through the heart. Keep that length. Now we're switching sides. Right elbow, it comes all the way across. Now make sure you're pressing, especially for some of my newer friends, sometimes you think you have to lift. No, keep that arm, press it against your thigh, and then use the palms to gently rotate you. Stacking your left shoulder on top of your right. Hug your right hip back. Pulling that left hip forward, square off the knees. Take another inhale. 
And exhale. One more round of breath here. Exhale. Brings you all the way back to center. Pause. Now we've got that balance. Using your core, support, and lift as you inhale. Woo. Bring that left knee up. Nice. Now adjust. Engage first. Find stability. Take your left knee to the side. Squeeze and hug your right bum in. Taking your foot. Bring it towards the thigh. Now you decide. Whatever you did on the other side, match it here. So if it was on the thigh, if it was on the shin, or on the floor, go for it. Again, find your balance, but make sure it's even. We're trying to get as even as we can. Now, as you lift through the center, maybe the arms are floating up and overhead, but not with the shoulders. And as my fingers just barely go out of the camera frame, reaching up and extending, taking two more breaths here. One more round of breath. And with control, go ahead and bring that knee back to front. Woo. Big toes together. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, awesome work, Yogi. Shift those hips back. Soften your shoulders down. Draw your rib cage in. As I see mine poking out, take one more inhale. And as you exhale, gently fold. Now, Yogi's choice. Inhale, heart forward. You decide. You can take the vinyasa where you lower, or if you need a break, take a break. Grab some water, take a child's pose. These vinyasas now will just keep heating up your practice. So, if you want a little bit more heat, then take them. Otherwise, skip it. And again, just a little wiggle, a little shake. Go where it works for you to reset. We're going to take our right knee, well, our right foot, excuse me. We're going to float our right foot up to the sky. And I want you to bring this right knee all the way across the left shoulder. Take an inhale. Exhale, I want you to pull it across. Give it a nice little twist. And two more, just like that. Inhale back. And exhale across. One more, inhale back. And exhale across. Pausing here, taking one more breath. And then go ahead and bring your knee all the way to your nose. Woo, maybe they touch and step your foot between the hands. It was a lot. Your back heel, drop it all the way to the mat. Now, when that back heel's on the floor, it means warrior one or warrior two. I want that back leg to be straight. Back leg is straight, right hip is hugging back. Heart is forward. As you inhale, float the arms up. Now getting a nice bit of length here. Inner thigh reaching forward. Outer hip hugging back. Belly lifted up. Shoulders soft from the ears. Taking one more round of breath here. And let's go ahead and take it into our warrior two. Adjust hands to heart. Now, taking your front foot, walk it in just a few inches towards the left side. So I want you to align your front heel with your back big toe and then turn your shoulders to square off to the side of your mat. Now keep lifting your belly up. Extend, pressing the palms down. Now we did a very short warrior one here, but I want to spend a little bit more time here in our warrior two. Settle in. A great opportunity to just check in with your breath. This pose in particular, whoo, tends to get very heated very quick. So rather than tensing, rather than holding your breath, rather than being like, why are we still here? Press the palms down with the heart. Settle in, take an inhale. Exhale. Two more rounds, inhale. Exhale. Soften a little bit more, one more round, inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, gently lengthen like, whoo, you made it. Turn your toes all the way towards the left side of your mat. Making sure your feet are parallel. Now a soft bend is fine. Again, I don't want you to lock into your knee joints. Engage, draw the kneecaps up, bellies lifted, hands, to hips. Send the heart up, shoulders soft. Now we're going halfway down. Lift your belly. As you exhale, pause halfway. Now if you need support, you take it. You can bring hands to a chair, hands to the floor. Hugging your outer hips in, keep that length and reach through the spine. Taking one more inhale. And then as you exhale, gently lower your hands down towards the mat and gently fold. Now double check, because it's very easy, one, for the toes to be turned out to the side and feel parallel. Make sure they're truly parallel. Outer edges line up with the side of your mat. The other thing is don't pull all your weight back into your, the heel of your foot. Bring it a little bit more even towards the ball of the foot. Let the head drop down. Two more breaths here. One more round. And then as you inhale, taking your time, come onto your fingertips. Now, for some of my friends, maybe this is enough. Just holding, just getting the support. Now, you're not shifting your weight around in your hips. Again, hugging the hip center. Bring your left hand towards the middle. 
Now, again, a block or even a chair to give you more height is perfectly okay. Again, I want you to go where you can. Draw the belly in. From here, can you take that right arm? Now, option A would be to take the arm to the hip and open that right shoulder. Option B would be to take that arm all the way up to the sky. Ooh. Now, you notice as we twist and as we're doing that core work, even as I'm talking, my breath has gotten a little shorter. Breathe into it. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round. Inhale. Exhale. Gently release. Now from here, take your hands. Walk them all the way towards the top of your mat. Turn your right toes forward. Lift your left heel up. Send your heart forward. Broaden. Shoulders soft. We're going to float your left leg up to the sky. Moving on to your right leg. Feel free to keep that right knee bent. Let your head drop down. And let that left leg float up. Go as high as it works for you. Some of us might be a little bit lower. Some of us might be a little bit higher. Again, go where you can. Letting the head drop. If you want more of that fun and you just want to go for that bounce, ooh, maybe you take that ankle a little wobbly today. <laughs> Taking one more breath. And go ahead and gently release. Big toes together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand tall. And hands to heart. Let's go and take a nice deep inhale here. Out your mouth, let it go. All right. Stepping our left foot back. Now I want you to step your foot about halfway back onto your mat, keeping that right foot forward. Now if I were facing straight onto the camera, you don't need to align heel to heel. It's not wrong, but it's just it's crazy. Open up, create a little bit more space. So the feet are on two separate tracks. From here, hands to hips. Now a soft bend, don't lock into the knee joint again. Engage, use your quad, press your back heel down to the mat. Hug your right hip back, lift your heart, shoulders soft, and as you exhale, I want you to begin to take it halfway. Now gently draw the ribs in. From here, just that nice, gentle reach. Heart reaching forward, crown of the head reaching forward, shoulders soft from the ears. Take another inhale. Check in with your core, exhale. One more round, inhale. Exhale. Inhale brings you all the way up. Ooh. Bending your front knee. Nice. And stepping to the top of the mat. Awesome work, yogis. Take a moment standing tall. Release your arms. Breathe. Your next inhale. Take your time. Float the arms up. Exhale. Dive forward. Soft bend through your knees. Inhale. Halfway. Plant your palms. Step or hop, either vinyasa, down dog, maybe even child's pose. Again, if you need a break, if you need that sip of water, go for it. Exhale, hips up and back. Two more breaths here. All right, second side. Left leg, bring your left knee to your right shoulder. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, take it across to your right. And send it back. And two more. Exhale across. And back. And one more. Exhale across. Pause. Woo. Take another inhale. And then go ahead and bring your knee to your nose. Step your foot between your hands. If you need a little help, adjust. Now back heel down to the mat. Remember, if it were a train track, each foot on its own track. Hug your left hip back. Knee over ankle. Sweep your arms up. Now we're not here long in this warrior one. You're welcome. Keeping our warrior one short. As you lift those hip bones, drop your tailbone down. Soften through your shoulders. Get that nice lift and length through your heart. And then go ahead and take your arms, bring them to heart center. Now, your foot. Now we walk it in. Because we're opening the hips, now it's okay to align the front foot with the back foot. So finding that alignment, because we're opening up those hips towards the side, lifting the hip bones up, shoulders soften down. And angle just slightly towards the camera for our part to the side. Now from here, extend, reaching your left arm forward, right arm back. Now as you keep drawing, as you keep pressing down and lifting up, and my arms, I'm keeping them a little bit lower so my hand doesn't block my face. But feel that reach down. We typically tend to take those arms too high. Find that reach to lengthen, soften through your neck, through your jaw. Give me three more breaths. Take an inhale. Clear your mind, exhale. Settle into your warrior two. Can you go a little bit deeper? Inhale. Exhale, you've got this. One more round, inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, gently lengthen. Woo, we made it. 
Bring your toes parallel to the right side of your mat. Now I'm crooked off my mat just so I'm angled a little bit better towards the camera. So it's not just a back shot for you guys. From here, as you draw those kneecaps up, hip bones lift. Now hands to hips, soft bend to keep those knees safe to engage. And going halfway down, drawing in towards that center, lifting up. Heart reaches forward, shoulders soften the ears. Taking one more round of breath here. And as you exhale, gently release and fold. Whoo. Now remember, we're hugging the outer hips in just like we did on the other side. Some of my friends might be a little bit higher. Again, that's fine. Use a chair, use a prop, anywhere. If the hands are not on the floor, make sure there is something that they are on. A coffee table, go to your table to the side. Anything to give you some elevation, some lift, or even feel free to just bend your knees and fold. We all have different availability with our flexibility. That's the one thing is people always think, I can't do yoga, I'm not flexible. You don't need to be flexible. Use a prop help to set you up in those poses. Now as you inhale, come halfway up. Again, maybe on the coffee table, maybe on a chair. Your right hand comes towards the center, right underneath your sternum, right under your chest. Now keep drawing your kneecaps up, take your left hand to your hip, and begin to gently open up that left shoulder. Now as you keep that reach your pause, lower ribs in, maybe left arm all the way up to the sky, finding that broadening. Whoo. Now check your breath, take another inhale, and exhale. One more round of breath here. Inhale. Exhale, gently release. Awesome work, yogis. Go ahead and turn your left toes forward towards the top of your mat. I'm going to adjust and actually square off on my mat. Take your hands down. Now bend your left knee. Look forward. Float your right leg up. Now keep pulling that heart forward. And then feel free to gently release your head down. Don't worry about the height. It's not about how high. It's not about opening up that hip and getting that leg all the way to the sky. Can you square off the pelvis, draw the belly in towards the spine, and lift your shoulder blades up away from the ears. Take another inhale. And exhale. Why not? One more inhale. And then gently release your foot. Pausing here. Big toes together. As you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And sweeping the arms up and overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. Pause, take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. <sighs> All right, let's keep going. Hands to hips, go ahead and step your right foot back. Now remember, feet are on two different train tracks. Hug your left hip back. Now a soft bend in that front knee. No pain in your knees ever. Soft bend, lift up, hug back. Shoulders soft, take an inhale. As you exhale, gently begin to shift your heart forward. Now, the goal is about parallel with the floor. You don't need to go any deeper than that. You should start to feel a stretch through the hamstring no matter how flexible you are. There should be some length there. Again, if you need to be a little bit higher with that control, go for that. But drawing those ribs in, give me two more breaths here. One more round of breath. And as you inhale, take your time, slowly lift, whoo, and step to the top. Awesome work, taking a moment here at the ground. Go ahead, bring your hands to heart center, pausing here for a moment as you stand tall. I'm just double checking on my time. Time just flies by in yoga. Take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. All right, let's bring those hands to the hips. All right, Hector, have you been working on your crow pose? We're gonna get into it here. Go take those feet a little bit wider. Now for any of my friends that are new, we're only gonna do it once today, but we're going into a yogi squat. Now, ideally in a perfect world, we'd want our heels all the way down to the floor and we'd bring our hands to the heart. That can be very challenging for most people. I've done this for many years, so my heels are just, you know, a lot of, a lot of yogi squats for me. So if this is not the case for you, you can roll your mat up, you can lift and put, elevate something under your heels. You can always just support towards the table. If it feels comfortable and you kind of got a little bit of a balance and you want to go for that, do it. So again, take a moment, even if it's a table in front of you that you're holding on to or a chair. Now again, some of my friends, maybe this is enough. Maybe just a yogi squat is working for you. Awesome. Stay with it. Otherwise, any of my friends that want to go a little bit deeper, work towards their arm balance, bring those hands down to the mat. Now, it's important that you press into your fingertips. 
and it's important that you shift your weight forward. That's the scary part. That's usually where people start to kind of pull back a little bit. So as you plant your palms down, you're gonna lift your heels. Now your knees, remember, they're gonna connect on your shoulders. If your knees are not connected to your arms, you can't get up. You would have to jump and technically you'd be jumping into a handstand. So connect your knees to the back of your arms, your tricep. And then from there, you wanna lean forward. So for my new friends, look forward. Don't drop your head, look forward and play with it. Just see how it feels to shift weight forward. Some of us maybe will bring a foot. Some of us maybe will bring the other foot. Some of us might even play with engaging, lifting to that core, bringing up both feet. Again, it's a tough one. It's an arm balance. Taking one more inhale and exhale. Whew. Gently release. It's always a fun task to talk through my crow pose. <laughs> Planting your palms, yogi's choice, either vinyasa or straight back to down dog. If you're still working on it, feel free to go for it, taking your time. And shift it up and back. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. And then from here, inhale, float your right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Go ahead and step your foot all the way up between your hands. Now we're going into our next big balance here. A chair, a table, feel free to bring your hands to. It's warrior three. Send the heart forward. So back heels lifted. Take a moment, draw the ribs in, and you float the arms up. Now, strong through that core. Right knee, keep a bend. As you exhale, shift forward. I like keeping my arms alongside my hips, but yogi's choice. To the heart, forward, out in front of you. Your choice. Now, feeling this position, hips are square. Lower ribs are drawn in, shoulders soft away from your ears. And again, I still got that nice bend. On your next inhale, taking your time, slowly bringing yourself all the way up. Woo! To stand. Awesome work, yogis. Now we're gonna get a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go back for that balance, but we're gonna add a little twist to it. So for some of us, that might work. Others of us, it's okay if it doesn't. Now again, a chair you could use towards to kind of help with balance. So if you have a chair or something, maybe the hand doesn't come all the way to the mat. This is another great option, just to have some support underneath you to hold on to. A chair, a couch, because we're going to add a rotation into this one. So from here, I want you to go ahead and bring your hands to hips, shoulders soft. Soft bend through your right knee, and go ahead and reach forward. And because I assume most of us probably don't have a yoga block at home, that's why I'm saying a chair, a prop, whatever you have around. Now, for any of my friends, maybe it's available, to bring their hand down to the mat, their left hand down to the mat, go for it. Otherwise, place it onto a chair. Pull that heart forward now. Don't forget about that back leg. Keep that energy working through the back leg. Right hand is on your hip. As you exhale, can you open up that right shoulder? Maybe that's enough. Maybe, just maybe, you start to take that right arm whoo, all the way up towards the sky and take that full twist. It is a big, fun, challenging balance. Breathe through it. Breathe your way through it. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath here. And as you exhale, gently release your hand. Gently release your foot. Awesome work, yogis. Take a moment to fold. You can clasp hands to elbows. You can take a little sway, a little release. One more round of breath here. And then gently bringing your hands down to the mat as you inhale. Send your heart forward, plant your palms, yogi's choice, down dog, child's pose, maybe vinyasa. Inhale, find the lift to lengthen. And exhale, shift up and back. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Out your mouth, let it go. And go ahead and take your left leg, float it up to the sky. Bringing your knee to your nose. Step your foot between your hands. Now coming onto your fingertips, broaden. Soften your shoulders. Hug your outer hip back. Now let's start by getting into that core first. So as you float those arms up, draw that belly up. Shoulders soft. Exhale. Begin to shift forward. Woo! Now keep the pelvis square real close to this camera here. Take another round of breath. One more. My apartment area is kind of small. Doing what I can as you inhale, go ahead and shift yourself up. Awesome work, taking a moment. Now we know we're going back on that left leg, that standing leg, but remember, 
you need that chair, the support, make your way towards it. Something to help elevate. Now, soft bend through your left knee, hands to hips. Start to reach your right foot back and slowly lever your torso forward. Oh jeez. I put my phone on, do not disturb, but someone's still trying to disturb me. Brought it through the collarbone. From here, reaching your right hand down. Maybe on the mat, again, I didn't demo this on the chair, but maybe if you're on the chair, just that support here. This can be enough. Again, wherever that hand works for you, and then you can start to rotate, opening up that left shoulder, maybe left arm up to the sky, or that hand can be all the way down towards the mat. We're pressing out that back leg, and we're opening up, rotating. Remember that square pelvis, don't let that right hip dip down. Keep pressing up through that right hip, take another inhale, and exhale. One more inhale here. As you exhale, gently release your foot. Woo. Release your head, release your hand, fold. Take a nice deep inhale here, yogis. Out your mouth, let it go. All right, it'll be our last vinyasa. You can step it, you can hop it, you can skip it all together. As you exhale, lower. As you inhale, take your lift. And going all the way up and back. And then taking your time, go ahead and gently bring your knees all the way down to the mat. Woo, yes, a child's pose. Hips are reaching back and let your head draw down. You have made it through all the real challenging stuff. We're gonna slow things down a bit, get a little bit deeper stretch into the body. But again, take a moment here, check on your breath. In your child's pose, you can let the head drop all the way down. Again, I'm lifting just so my voice isn't too muffled. Taking just a couple more rounds of breath here. And then when you're ready, taking your time, slowly lift your gaze, shifting forward. And let's go ahead and step our right foot forward. Now, if your knee is a little sensitive, it doesn't feel comfortable being on the mat, flip your mat, put a towel under your knee. It's all good. Now for some of my friends, this nice stretch here is gonna be perfect to stay. Now without just pushing the hips forward and releasing, I still want you to think of a nice little lift through the belly here. So we're engaged. Now, if this is good, stay right where you are. You can take right hand onto your thigh and gently push and rotate. Ooh, that was my back. <laughs> As you reach that heart forward, a little pop as I twisted. You can either stay here or maybe reach back if available. You can take hold of your foot and get a little bit deeper into the quad, that hip flexor. My hips have gotten, I've been hiking quite a bit since I've been back on corn. Well, since yeah, things have shut down again. So hiking is one of my big things here. In LA, so my hips have gotten so tight. So, side story. Breathe into your stretches. Allow the muscles to gently release. Taking two more rounds of breath here. One more. And as you exhale, go ahead and gently release your back foot. Now taking your right hand, bring it down to the mat. Go ahead and pull it all the way across. Gently dropping your right knee down. Now we're setting up for a single pigeon. If you need a little support, we have, you can bring a towel, bring a blanket underneath that right hip. Otherwise, just gently settle the hips down. No pain in your knee. Hugging the right hip back as much as you can. You can stay upright. If it's available for you and you want to take a little fold, go for it. Letting the heart drop down, the head release as you fold. Now staying in that child's pose here, we're going to be here for a few breaths. Right where you are. Couple more rounds of breath here. And then taking your time, go and slowly walk your hands up, planting your palms down. And from here, we're just gonna slide that back knee in and gently step that right foot back. Switching sides as you step your left foot forward. Now, if you did have something under that left knee, feel free to adjust, put it under the right knee. Now, just starting nice and simple in the lunge, reaching the heart forward. Soften your shoulders down. 
Now you're more than welcome to stay here again if this is enough. Maybe the right hand planche. You're welcome to gently press onto that left thigh. Get a little bit of rotation through the spine. Oh, there goes the other side. If available and you want to bend the back knee, bring that back foot up, reaching for the foot, you can go for that as well too. Again, just a little bit more of the lift through the front of the body as you reach the sternum forward, taking two more breaths here. And if you have your back foot, gently release it, taking your time. We're gonna walk our left foot across the mat and gently let your left knee drop down. Pausing here, hugging that left hip back. Reaching the heart forward. Pause, shoulder soft. As you exhale, take your time. No rush. Again, if you need to stay upright, go for it. Going forward is just an option. And I do apologize, I didn't give the option. If this does not feel good for your knees, you're more than welcome to come onto your back. Let me demo that. If you're in single and you wanna stay there, go for it. The other option would have been, and apologies, I try to give as many options as I can. Sometimes I forget because there's no one directly in front of me. But this is also another good option too, just to get into your hips from your back. So you decide, single pigeon, maybe thread the needle on the back for future reference whenever you're doing hip openers and the knees just aren't allowing it or the hips aren't, take it onto the back. A couple more rounds of breath here. And then taking your time slowly, bringing yourself back up. Ooh. Let's go ahead and shift that right leg forward. And coming all the way onto your hips. All right, yogis, our last seated pose here. We're gonna take a little twist and a little fold. Let's bend our right knee. Now keep your left leg straight. Let me scoot back. There we go, left leg straight. Right ankle all the way across. Now don't sink into your lower back, lift up. And then from here, feel free to take hold of your knee as you lift up, keep rotating. Sending that right hand back, a little flex through your left foot. Maybe left arm up and across if available. If not, keep holding on to that thigh. Taking two more here. One more round of breath. And bring yourself all the way back to center. And a nice, simple switch. Pressing your right heel forward, bend your left knee. Bring it across your thigh. Now make sure you're not sinking into that lower back. Lift as high as you can. You can hug your thigh as you rotate. Maybe the arm goes all the way up and across as you gently rotate. Now keep sending the left shoulder back, broaden along the left collarbone, and then reaching your heart up as you exhale. Keep twisting. Two more rounds of breath here. One more. and bringing yourself all the way back to center. Go ahead and extend both legs. And gently take the skin of your bum, just gently pulling it up. As you sit tall, floating your arms up and overhead, and then reaching forward, nice big fold. Our last stretch here. Hands on the feet, hands on the mat, hands on your shins, wherever they make it. Double check though, no lifted shoulders. See if you can lift your heart, draw your shoulders down. As you exhale, take a little fold. Maybe one more here, inhale, a little lift. Soften your shoulders, exhale, fold. Two more rounds. Now we've finished in a neutral here. If there happens to be anything else you'd like to do, maybe a hap uh, happy baby, if you absolutely need another twist, but we did a, a bunch today. You're more than welcome to do the one on your back. Otherwise, go and just gently bend your knees. We're gonna settle into our final pose. Now you're gonna extend your legs out, making yourself comfortable, palms will face up. As you gently lower your head down towards the mat, see if you can lift your heart just a little bit, gently draw your shoulder blades slightly together, and then settle here. As the hands gently settle, as the heart gently lifts, take a comfortable inhale. Comfortable, exhale. And just for the next few moments, allow your body to find stillness as you move into 
Shabbos. from here. Gently begin to deepen your breath and bringing movement back to your fingers, back to your toes. Taking your time, reach your arms over your head, take a long stretch through your body. Bending your knees when you're ready, gently roll to your side, allow your breath to deepen. And your next exhale, bring yourself all the way up to a comfortable seated position. Feel free to cross your shins, bring your hands together at heart center as you sit tall, as you soften your shoulders. Taking a moment, allowing the length through your spine to grow, the shoulders to soften even more, the jaw to be soft. Let's close with three strong breaths here. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, release. Two more deep breaths in. And release. One more deep breath in. And release. Sailing in your practice, your work, your effort, or your Friday practice. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis. Such a pleasure. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, happy birthday, Veronica. <laughs> I hope you have a great, a good celebration this Friday, whatever your plans are. Um, if you guys ever have any questions, uh, anything about the practice, please feel free to let me know. Thank you, Hector. It's so great having you on. Um, but please enjoy the rest of your Friday. Drink lots of water. Stay hydrated. In this warm weather, it's even getting hot here in L.A. Um, but yeah, everyone stay safe. Have a good one. Have a great weekend. And hopefully I'll see you next Friday, 9.30 a.m. Bye.